This is the M1 Ultra that's supposed to be super fast, eight times faster than the M1, eight times. It's pretty exciting. Hi, this is Brett with Anvil. We turn research into results that matter. I've gotten plenty of requests for people. They wanna know what's going on with the Apple event. There's some fun and exciting things coming. The event was about, you know, it was about an hour or so. So it wasn't like, you know, extensive, but with this event, you're gonna be able to see some of the new product that is coming in the future. Here's Gary who struck out twice. Imagine what a big hit would mean for Sanchez and the Yankees right now. Apple has been in negotiations for the probably the past few years with sports networks to bring um, sports such as baseball and football, basketball onto Apple TV Plus. But of course you can imagine the pushback with cable companies who are pushing back against this. I mean, there's a constant war between all of these new subscription based models, you know, the Apples of the world, Netflixes. And with this bidding war, cable companies are becoming obsolete. Cable is almost a thing of the past. So what Apple introduced back on March 8th is they are bringing baseball to Friday nights on Apple TV Plus, which is this is a major thing. I know it may not seem major, but it's major because it was the first thing they introduced as a part of the Apple event. What you will be able to do is you will be able to stream baseball on Friday nights. Now, it's just Friday nights. I don't believe it's any other part of the week. So somewhere in their negotiation contracts, they were able to make this happen. So I'm telling you, this is huge, huge, huge. As time progresses, you will start to see other subscription-based companies such as Amazon or Hulu. They're gonna bid on these different sports and you'll begin to see baseball, football, and other sports. These sports will be streamed on streaming services. So watch out cable. From the surface, this isn't like a major deal, like looking at it from the outside looking in, it may not seem like a major deal, but trust me, you will see more of this happening in the sports arena. So here's number two. As we know, a couple years ago, Apple introduced the M1 chip as a part of the silicone, their whole big rollout of the chip itself. Apple has now introduced the M1 Ultra chip. So this Ultra chip, the way they explained it, the way I took it as, they originally wanted to go with two different chips and combine them, but it's almost like one major chip of two chips combined. I don't even that doesn't sound right, but it's like almost like double, double the power. It's like two chips in one, so to speak. So this is the M1 Ultra that's supposed to be eight times faster than the M1. Eight times. It's pretty exciting. I, I, I think it's pretty exciting news. However, I'm cautious because I know with this new pro product, the price is going to be exponentially much more. So, you know, if, if you're cool with that, if you're, you're okay with dropping, you know, a couple thousand or three, I don't know how much, just know you're going to pay with this new product. Another thing that Apple introduced in the Apple event that happened earlier this week, Apple introduced the iPhone SE. I'm going to skip that because I'm not really interested in iPhones. So cool. All you iPhone users. Well, I am excited to announce, I'm announcing, but Apple announced this earlier. They are coming out with this computer that is called the Mac Studio. The Mac Studio is almost like the iMac. So you have like the iMac screen, it's the, the newer Mac screen. And then it sort of resembles the Mac Mini, but it's like a smaller, I think it's like seven inches by four or five inches thick. This Mac Studio is a major addition to Apple's products. Um, it's gonna be the new line of Apple computers. Those like me who specialize in production, editing, music, if you're a creator and you are heavy into editing, um, this computer is gonna be amazing. Price-wise, you know, it's, 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 it's a lot of money. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. But back to this Mac Studio. This Mac Studio has ports in the front as well as the back. I believe you can hook this Mac Studio up to up to like four different screens plus a 4K TV screen. So it's like five total screens you can hook this thing up to. So like I said, this is really geared towards the creator. It's called Mac Studio for a reason. I, I kind of like the name, but this Mac Studio is gonna be a great addition to your home studio or whatever studio that you work out if you're looking for a powerhouse of a Mac computer. This Mac Studio is going to house the M1 Ultra, so it's going to be amazingly fast. The price of it, I mean, I don't know the price now. I need to really research that on apple.com. It's probably going to be probably four to $5,000. Whoo, that's that's a lot of money. It's a lot of money, but you know, you're, you're getting 
you're getting Apple. And so it looks like you can order now. So I'm going to click on that. And we're just going to go right to Apple. So you see, uh, see how I was talking about earlier, the this part, uh, the tower, it's, it's really small and compact. Comes with the, the choice of either the 10 core or the 20 core. We've got 199, not 199, almost $2,000 versus three thousand so it's it's not not terrible on the price that's really what i wanted to see how much this thing was 64 gigs of memory memory which is really good 32 is is just as good but you see what you're getting you're getting the five gigs in the lower model versus the terabyte it, it shows uh, on the video on the apple event video that the screen is kind of like uh, it has like an adjustable back portion of it like i said you can check the video on that it's pretty clean let me just get out of that all right the ipad air i didn't talk about the ipad air you guys who follow me know about how i feel about ipads so sorry and of course the iphone se is here and i can go here and watch the event again if i wanted to but um studio display mac studio 27 inches uh, 5K Retina display. Cool. It's got a camera with center stage. Six speakers. I didn't realize it was six speakers in this thing. Outrageous performance with the M1 Max and the all new M1 Ultra chip. The Ultra chip is going to be super fast. Like, you know, the people are talking about like instantly when you open up a program, it's, it's like instantly there for you. Uh, being able to run different programs at the same time with, with, clearly no issue it's gonna be great gonna be great so i'm actually kind of happy about the price i'm like oh man okay so 2000 it's not like totally breaking the bank here but um what is this immerse yourself in the 5k dream is it gonna do something oh it doesn't really say anything am i supposed to click on something what am i doing here anyway that's it i just wanted to show you for those of you who are visual, give you a visual depiction of, of what I was talking about in the video. Cool. Well, that was all. The main thing or the main two things I received from this event was, of course, the, the M1 Ultra as well as the Mac Studio. So check those two items out. Thanks again for joining us. Hit the like, subscribe button just to get information on computer products, technologies, Apple products, of course. That's what we're here for. And I thank you again for your time.